Welcome to the Corporate Maths Video Solutions to the Words and Figures Practice Questions. In this video, I'm going to go through the video solutions to each one of the questions on the Words and Figures Practice Questions booklet. If you do want a video tutorial on writing words as figures or figures as words, go to corporatemaths.com and scroll down to video numbers 362 and 363 and you can get video tutorials on how to do that. Now, as I go through these answers, what I've actually done is I've got the answers written already, uh, just because it might be a bit tidier and easier to read than my handwriting. So when if we go through them, I'm going to have the answers there already. Okay, so question 1a says write the number 3804 in words. So we've got a 4 in the units or 1s column, we've got 0 in the 10s, we've got an 8 in the 100s and 3 in the 1000s. So it's going to be 3804. And we write it as we say it, so it would be 3804. Okay, next question, question 1b. So question 1b says write the number 10,251 in figures. So let's consider our place value. So we've got our tens of thousands, we've got our thousands, we've got our hundreds, our tens and our units or ones, depending on what you want to call them, units or ones. Okay, and we've got our number, which is 10,000, so 10,000, so 10,251. So the answer would be 10,251, like so. So let's have a look at question two. So question two says write the number 9482 in words. So that is 9,482. And again, we read it as we say it, so 9,000, 482. Okay, let's have a look at question three. So in question three, we've been asked to write the number 1257 in words. So that's 1,257. So 1,000, 257. Okay, next question. Okay, let's have a look at question four. So question four says, at a Bath rugby match, there are so many spectators. Write that number in words. So that's the number 13912. And if we have a look at it, it's 13,912. And again, we'd write that down, 13,912. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. Okay, so the next question says to write the number 18,501 in figures. So let's consider our place value columns again. So we've got our tens of thousands, our thousands, our hundreds, our tens, and our units or ones, so units or ones. And we've been asked to write the number 18,501 in figures. So it's going to be 18,000, so that's 1, 8 for 18,000, 500, so 5 in the hundreds column, and 1, so there's no tens and there's a 1. So our number would be 18,501. That's it. Okay, let's have a look at question six. Okay, so in question six, we've been told the circumference of the Earth is 40,075 kilometers. Write 40,075 in figures. Again, let's consider our place value column. So we've got our tens of thousands, our thousands, our hundreds, our tens, and our ones or our units, whichever one you want to call it, units or ones. You can put whichever one you want there. So we've got 40,000, so that's going to be 40,000. So we'll have four in the tens of thousands column. So that's 40,000. And 75, so there's no hundreds. And then we've got seven tens and five units or ones. So the answer would be 40,075. So that's 40075. And that's it. So the answer is 40075 in kilometers. Okay, our next question, question seven. So question seven A says to write the number 9112 in words. So that's 9,100 and 12, 110 and two units, that's 12. So the answer would be 9,000, 112. So the answer is 9,000, 112. Okay, and question 7b says to write the number 2 million in figures. So we've got 2, 20, 200, 2,000, 20,000, 200,000, 2 million. And that is a 2 followed by 6 zeros. So the answer would be a 2 followed by 6 zeros, and that's 2 million. That's it. Okay, let's have a look at question 8. Question eight says to write the number 20,000 in figures. So that's going to be, if we consider our place value columns, so we've got our tens of thousands, we've got our thousands, our hundreds, our tens, and our units, or ones, whichever one you want to call it. So we've got 20,000, so that's going to be two in the tens of thousand columns, and then zero in each of the rest of them. And that's going to be 20,000, or two followed by four zeros. You could just went two, 20, 200, 2,000, 20,000. So the answer would be a two followed by four zeros. Okay, the next question says to write the number 10 million in figures. Now, we looked at that in question 7b, where we wrote 2 million in figures, and we wrote a 2 followed by 6 zeros. So we could write a 10 followed by 6 zeros, so 10 and then 6 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Or again, we could do our columns, and so you'd have your units or 1s, 10s, 100s, 
thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions and tens of millions, as so you'd have a one in that column and zeros in the rest. Or you could start off with one and do 10, 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, 10 million, and that would be your answer. A one followed by seven zeros or a 10 followed by six zeros, whichever way you want to look at it. So the answer would be a one, a zero, and then six zeros. Okay, our next question. And next question says to write three temps and figures. So let's consider our place value. Um, I learned hundreds, tens, and units, or ones. And then you've got your decimal point, and then you've got your temps. So that's temps in that column. And we've been asked to write three temps and figures. So we've got three temps. So that's going to be 0 0.3. So 0 0.3 is three temps. If you're asked to write seven temps, it would be 0 0.7. If it was nine temps, it would be 0 0.9, and so on. If it was hundredths, it would be the next column, and so on. Okay, our next question, question D, says to write the number 7,219 in figures. So let's do our place value. We've got our thousands, our hundreds, our tens, and our units, or ones. And we've been asked to write the number 7,219 in figures. That's 7,219. So we would just write down 7,219. And question E says to write 1 billion in figures. So let's start off with 1, then we've got 10. 100, 1,000, 10,000, 100,000, 1 million, 10 million, 100 million, 1,000 million, which is a billion. So we have got a billion, which is a one followed by nine zeros. So we have got a one and then zero, 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 and that's a billion. Or another way to consider it is with the place value comes, you've got your units or ones, then you've got your tens, your hundreds, your thousands, your tens of thousands, your hundreds of thousands, your millions, your tens of millions, your one hundreds of millions, and then you've got your billions. So that is one billion, which is a one followed by nine zeros. So that's it. Okay, our next question. Okay, so let's have a look at question 9a. So we've been asked to write the number 18500 in words. So we've got 500 and we've got 18,000. So our answer is 18,000 comma 500. So it's 18,500. Our next question, question 9b, well, we've got no hundreds, tens, or units, or ones, but we've got 160,000. So our answer is just 160,000. Okay, question 9. Okay, question 9c. We've been asked to write the number 0 0.04 in words. So we've got no units or ones. We've got no tenths, but we've got four hundredths. So our answer is four hundredths. Okay, question D. So in question D, we've got 20 million and we've got 100,000. So our answer is 20 million, 100,000. And finally, question E, we've been asked to write the number 312905 in words. So it's going to be 312,000. 905 and we would write that down as we said so 312,000 comma 905 okay let's have a look at our next question so question 10 so question 10 we've been asked to write the answer to 538 multiplied by 100 in words so first of all we need to write our answer so we're going to be multiplying this number by 100 so that means we're going to move all the digits two columns to the left so the eight that was in the units or the ones column will move two columns to the left so it'll move into the hundreds the three will move into the thousands the five will move into the tens of thousands and we'd have two zeros in the tens in the units column so our answer would be 53,000 800 and we'd write that down as 53,000 comma 800 full stop okay question 11 so question 11a we've been asked to calculate the product of 165 and 83 and this is a calculator question and the word product means to multiply so we're going to multiply 165 and 83 and whenever we do that we get our answer of 13695 or 13,695 and we write that down as 13,000 comma 695 and that's it so in this video we've been looking at how to write words as figures and figures as words and if you do need to watch that video tutorial on corporate maths on it if you go to corporate and scroll down to videos 362 or 363 you'll find those video tutorials i really hope you find this video useful please like it please subscribe to the youtube channel and uh, good luck thanks